Greetings everyone, my name is Mitch Densley and I'm here to show you today how to set up Duo multi-factor authentication with a Palo Alto Networks firewall. The first thing we want to do is start out in our Duo dashboard, which I've already got my account created within Duo, but I'm going to create a user account. And this username is going to match up with the username of my uh, account that's going to be inside the Palo Alto Networks firewall. So the first thing I'm going to do is create my user. I'm going to name him Mitch. It happens to be my name. And then I'm going to set up an email account for this user save and then I'll send the enrollment email and then I'll come over here to my uh, mobile device email will come in here in just a second as you can see my email just arrived we'll come down here and we'll start the process start setup say this is my tablet I'm on Android and I do have Duo Mobile installed so I'll tell it I do right there. Okay, now this is where because I'm on my tablet I can't actually scan the same QR code. Okay, so I'm going to have an activation link emailed to me instead for the same email. There it came in. And I'll click the link, open it in Duo Mobile, and now the account's been added. So the mobile device portion is done. So back in my Duo panel now, the next thing I need to do is add an application. This will be uh, the application representing the Palo Alto Networks firewall. Now if you look through the list, there is a Palo Alto entry for the SSL VPN we're going to use the same one even though we're not going to be implementing an SSL VPN multi-factor authentication in this particular demo. The key thing now is done. Now I've got this integration key, secret key, and API hostname. We'll come back to this in a moment. What I need to do right now, however, is capture the SSL certificates from this Duo web page. So since I'm using Chrome, nowadays you have to hit F12 in order to view the certificates. What I want to see is the certificate or certification path. I'm going to grab this top and this intermediate certificate and export them out to my PC and save them so that I can import them into the Palo Alto Networks firewall. Save both of these as base64 encoded. We'll call this the we'll call this the root cert. next finish and then I'll click OK here and then I'll grab now the intermediate certificate and export him as well base 64 encoded and I'll call this one intermediate all right that part is done so I can close that now we'll come over to the Palo Alto Networks firewall and I'm going to import those certificates that I just saved. So import from certificates. This one's going to be the root. I'll call this duos root. And the next one I'm going to import is the intermediate. Perfect. Now that I have those two certificates imported, now I'm going to add them to a certificate profile. And we'll call this Duo Certs. Add in the root, and I'll add in the intermediate. And make sure that 
I don't have any spaces. And I could go through and fill out the rest of the, these options here, but for this demo, this is sufficient. Now, in order for us to leverage the multi-factor authentication, we're gonna to go to a policy and create an authentication policy, which is essentially like a captive portal. But for that captive portal page, I'm gonna need another certificate. I'm gonna call this my CP for captive portal cert, okay? And the common name, I'll make uh, the name or the IP address of my firewall's traffic interface that will be intercepting the, the session from the user. All right, and since this is gonna be self-signed, I'll check certificate authority. And then I'll click OK. All right, now that I've clicked OK, so let's generate, my certificate has been created. Now I'm gonna add that certificate to an SSL TLS service profile. And we'll call this our CP uh, SSL for Captive Portal. And I'll use my CP cert there. Excellent. Now what I wanna do is add in, I'm still in the device tab, the multi-factor authentication for Duo. So we'll call this Duo MFA. I'll pick the certificate profile containing the Duo certificates. I'll be using Duo version two. And now it's asking me for this information that we saw on our Duo portal a moment ago. So I'm gonna start with the API host, which I'll pull from here. Next, I'll go to the integration key. And next I'll do my secret key. Everyone close your eyes really quickly. Good job, you closed your eyes. And I copied the key and I'll paste it in there, and we'll click OK. Next down on the list, I'm gonna create a user account that matches my username in the Duo portal. So this will be Mitch, and I do have to give him just an internal uh, password. Now this doesn't have to be a local account, you could use external accounts, but for simplicity's sake, I'm using local now. Then I'm gonna add that user to an authentication profile. Okay, we'll call this uh, local users. And notice it'll reference the local database. And I'm gonna come over here and add in some factors. The factor I wanna add is Duo MFA, the one I created just a moment ago. Okay, and I specify which uh, users will be allowed. I'll say all from the, the local accounts database. And click OK. Next thing we need to do now is configure the captive portal that will intercept the user's session, giving them the multi-factor authentication challenge. So to do that, we're gonna to go to user identification and we'll come over to the captive portal settings tab here. We'll enable captive portal. We'll pick our CP SSL TLS SSL service profile and then our local users authentication profile. Next, we're gonna choose our mode as transparent or redirect. Transparent if your traffic is going through a layer two or a V-wire interface. Since mine are going through layer three interfaces, I'll choose redirect. And my redirect host is gonna be an interface uh, IP address on my firewall. There's something important here. Uh, let's go look at that because this is an easy thing to overlook. On this interface, okay, this is gonna be my inside interface and you can see it's got that 199.1 IP address. I have to add an interface management profile and to this interface management profile, make sure you have response pages turned on. If you forget this, the user will not get a page for the MFA challenge. The next thing I need to do is come over to the objects tab, scroll down, and we're gonna create an authentication object all right, and I'm gonna call this Duo Challenge. And the authentication method we're gonna choose is going to be a web form. And then the authentication profile is gonna be my local users. Click OK. The last thing now I'm gonna do is come over to my policies tab and scroll down until I get to the authentication policies. This is a new version 8.0 item. All right, now I'm gonna add my rule and like any other policy within the Palo Alto Networks firewall, 
You've got a name, some source criteria, some destination criteria, and an action. So we're gonna call this MFA from test source. And the source is on my inside network. Also, be sure you enable user ID on the ingress zone. His IP address is going to be 50. And we're just gonna make him forcefully authenticate before he gets out to the web. And we'll use our duo challenge here. Click OK and commit. After the commit, we'll test it out. All right, our commit is finished. Now let's go test it. Open a browser on the system I want to force to authenticate. Go to our website. Oh, and we've got this redirect. Let's see where it's taken us. Okay, this certificate is got the same common name as the one I set up in my captive portal uh, policy. And sure enough, look, I've got this login required. So let me type in my name and my password. And I heard my Android just say, hey, look, you have a login prompt. I'll approve. Oh, it went away. Let me do that one more time and confirm. And now we'll come back and see Authentication complete, and we're at our website. So there we showed you how to set up uh, multi-factor authentication using Duo, how to set up the Duo application, how to secure the, the Palo Alto firewall as an application within the Duo portal, and then also how to create certificates within the Palo Alto Networks firewall, how to create SSL TLS profiles, how to create a captive portal uh, setup under the user ID section, and then how to create an authentication policy and implement it. I hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative, and we'll see you next time. Bye.